My role as an educator at the University of Victoria is to enhance opportunities for Indigenous students. Um, so for that, like I said earlier, I sit uh, on admission committees and we make sure that uh, that when we have Indigenous um, applications from Indigenous students, that those are considered as applications of great interest or that um, students that apply to our school uh, are interested in researching aspects of Indigenous community energy management or um, uh, ways of uh, implying traditional ecological knowledge to our energy climate um, uh, crisis issues. Um, when I teach uh, at the university, I make sure that um, I have units uh, in my classes that have to deal with indigenous ways of knowing. Um, in my economics uh, course, I have a unit on indigenous economics where we talk about challenges and opportunities of running an, uh, a business in Canada as an indigenous, um, in, as an indigenous business owner. Um, I also um, learn myself every day as a settler in Canada uh, about um, indigenous history. So I encourage, no, I, I require students to have very short presentations in the beginning of each lecture uh, in person uh, to present on an interesting fact about Lukwangan speaking peoples on whose traditional mm, territory cool. the University of Victoria stands. Uh, there are multiple ways we can um, address the issue of uh, truth and reconciliation. As part of the recent conference um, for the Canadian Society for Ecological Economics, um, our theme was uh, pathways for sustainable and inclusive recoveries. And indigenous communities are the first um, um, place to look for answers. So we had lots of keynote speakers, panelists, sessions at the conference where we talked about applying traditional ecological knowledge, uh, transitioning societies from uh, the pandemic times into a more sustainable and healthy path for the planet. So I tend to um, work with uh, indigenous communities and also learn every day myself uh, about ways that we can build sustainable societies.